our first year coaches uh, moving over from defensive coordinator for the Bulldogs. Concordia was five and three in conference last fall with a seven and three overall record. Patrick with Concordia football. All right, I, uh, I want to echo everyone else's thanks uh, to Corey and Lucas and the work they put in and to the Marina Inn. Um, I want to thank our staff. Uh, being a first year head coach, uh, assembling a staff was, was uh, the first thing to do. And uh, we got a, guy, a, a group of guys that love to have fun and they have thick skin. And, and uh, we believe the same things about the sport of football and what it can do in the lives of young men. Um, I believe coaching football is one of the most important jobs, if not the most important job uh, in our country. Um, our world needs men who are more prepared for life. Um, a big thing to prepare uh, a young man for life is uh, learning self-sacrifice in kind of a, a me-generated world. And um, I don't think, outside of the military, I don't think there's anything that does that better than, than being on a football team as far as teaching self-sacrifice and preparing um, a young man for the, the obstacles and the responsibilities that are ahead of him. Um, our staff also, we, we work really hard in the office and, and on the field and in the weight room. Uh, we try to work equally hard when, when we get home and um, uh, in our roles as, as husbands and as fathers. Um, we all have, uh, for the most part, young families, and so um, uh, finding balance is important, and I don't know, uh, I don't know how well we do at that, but uh, we have a group of understanding wives and, um, and families who are, are definitely in it with us. Um, I want to thank Vance Winter. Uh, in 2009, he took over a football program that was uh, not the same kind of football program that, uh, that I'm getting the keys to. And uh, he put in a lot of tireless, uh, you know, countless hours and um, gave me my first job in coaching. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, forever will be grateful for that and, and um, uh, appreciate that. Uh, I want to thank our administration. Athletic Director Devin Smith and our Associate Athletic Director Angela Muller. Um, they put in a lot of countless hours as well and, um, and uh, they've been very patient with me in this uh, in my first year uh, kind of learning the ins and outs of, of a new role. Um, and also I, I want to thank uh, Tyler Cavalli and, and Jake Canabal. They do a great job of promoting uh, Bulldog Athletics so thank you guys and thank the media for coming up today um, uh, to come cover this. At Concordia University Football, we're building men through accountability, toughness, and authenticity. Um, those three things, uh, I believe everything that we're trying to build in our football program uh, kind of centers around one of those three areas. Um, whether there's uh, something good or bad is happening, I think it can be funneled into uh, either being accountable, being tough, or, or being trustworthy and, and authentic. Um, I believe that... Uh, one of the ways that, that we can build that into our, pro, uh, into our program and into our players is um, by kind of keeping things simple. Um, I think, as, I don't know who, who, who said it originally, but football is a, a simple game made complicated by coaches. I think that's kind of true. Tony Dungy says that uh, uh, champions don't do extraordinary things. They do ordinary things better than anyone else. And, and so that really resonates with us. And that's what we're trying to do. Things like showing up on time to wait sessions and given 100 percent effort while you're there um, things like being a good teammate and putting your ego aside uh, for the sake of someone else on the team um, is it, stuff that we tried to build into the guys over the off season i feel like we um, like we made good progress in that in those areas um, as far as our two 2017 season goes we have very high expectations uh, for what this season can be but we also recognize that we have a lot of work to do um, defensively we need to replace eight starters and, um, you know, we expect some leadership uh, from, from some guys who haven't gotten a lot of playing time in the past uh, but had really great spring balls. Um, some of our returners on defense, Demarie Martin, uh, will be a defensive back for us in his senior year. And he is uh, he's probably one of the smartest football players I've ever coached as far as uh, you could show him a picture of a, of a scheme defensively and he could tell you what the defensive end and the nose guard are doing even though he's, uh, he's in man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, another guy on defense, cornerback Terrence Roby, uh, who is also a dynamic kick returner. Um, he's got a lot of size and, and speed to match, and so um, there's a lot of things that he does that you can't coach that, that we appreciate and um, we'll try and put to use. 
Uh, and then linebacker Cordell Gloss comes back. He's got some starting experience at linebacker. A real hard-nosed uh, kid from, from Palmer, Nebraska. Uh, does a great job um, on the defensive side of the ball for us. And then we got a lot of guys that we're, we're really excited about. Um, they have some stuff to prove, but um, but we think can get the job done. Offensively, we, have settled, uh, we haven't settled on a quarterback yet. Um, and we, we had a good spring, though. And got some guys with some uh, returning experience uh, as well as some guys who haven't seen the field much that we think can compete as well. Um, some guys with proven experience, wide receiver Jared Garcia um, is back. He holds a lot of our records um, at Concordia for, for uh, like receiving touchdowns and yards. Uh, he actually put up 305 on Hank Clean last week and I think that's a testament to um, uh, Todd Berner and the strength coach, uh, the strength conditioning staff and what they've done. Um, He's a strong, physical uh, wide receiver. He's dynamic, and uh, we're excited about him. We have uh, a true fullback in Eric Small coming back uh, this year. He is a downhill kind of kind of guy whose uh, traps just go from your ear to your shoulder. He's just uh, he looks like a fullback, and, and, he, and he plays like one. We're uh, we're excited to have him back, and. Um, yeah, a, a guy who's developed in our program is Yoshi Gray. Uh, he'll be he'll be back for his senior year, and then we get Seth Fitzky back at tight end, who I think is is just a phenomenal player and um, a fun guy to be around and brings a lot of energy. And he was uh, out last season with the ACL. He'll be back, and uh, we're excited about that. I think regardless of your scheme, you're going to be as good as your offensive line. Um, our offensive line has put in a lot of work this uh, this off season. And uh, they, they put in a lot of extra hours and, and, and time with, with our offensive coordinator. And uh, we're excited about that group. Uh, Hal Gleeman and Austin Reese uh, come back for their senior years. Um, and, and we're excited about them. Um, I believe we got a tough-minded and, and physically tough team coming in this fall. And uh, we're taking one day at a time. We're learning as we go. Concordia is a, a unique place. Um, I myself am a product of uh, grace and second chances. Uh, I think that um, if you're willing to work hard and put your ego aside to be a good teammate and uh, you're willing to just put the effort in, I think uh, you know a, guy, a kid can come in and have a great experience like I did. Um, while he's here, regardless of his background or, or um, uh, what his history is, uh, while he's here, I'm going to point him to Jesus uh, because he changed my life. And um, I, I want our players to be rooted in something and anchored in something that can't be stripped from them. And uh, that's an identity in him. Um, with all the, the, the deep beliefs I have about uh, building men and, uh, and off the field program stuff um, and the passion that I have for that, I'm, I'm passionate about winning. And, and we're going to do uh, pour every uh, ounce of effort into that endeavor uh, this fall and into the future. Um, I believe in the guys in our locker room. We're thrilled to get started next week, and uh, we're very excited for the 2017 season.